now. Experts say that Delta variant COVID cases are up 9%. That infection rate is higher in several states that have low vaccination rates. We wanted to know how prevalent this more contagious strain of the coronavirus is in Oregon. So we sent Elise Haas to talk with the Oregon Health Authority and she got answers. She joins us live and what did they tell you? Ken, we know that the Delta variant was first reported and recorded in the United States in March, and then it was declared a variant of concern by the World Health Organization by May. And in Oregon, we were at least well through our vaccination rollout by that point, which is good, but the Delta variant, scientists believe, is the most contagious form of the virus so far in this pandemic. And we also know that COVID data lags. And just when we think we are doing okay is when things are probably getting ramped up behind the scenes. But so far, the data and evidence shows in Oregon that the Delta variant isn't that prevalent here yet as it is in other states. To date, there are 13 reported cases of the Delta variant in Oregon, and it's generally been recorded within the highly populated northwestern part of the state and then the less vaccinated far eastern part of the state. That all includes Clackamas, Clatsop, Columbia, Multnomah, Tillamook, Washington, Baker, Malheur, Murrow, Umatilla, Union, and Malawa counties. But do compare that to the 1700 recorded cases of the alpha variant of concern, which has been prevalent here for quite some time. But scientists believe that the Delta variant is at least around 50% more contagious than even the alpha variant. So it may be just a matter of time for the Delta variant really takes overtakes it here in the Pacific Northwest. So what does this really mean? When talking to the Oregon Health Authority, they said that the vaccines are working exceptionally well to prevent infection from all of the variants, including the Delta variant. But OHA says that community spread still remains elevated in these areas with lower rates of vaccination, meaning that the Delta variant could become a pandemic among the unvaccinated, if you will. So who should be concerned? Well, we should all be concerned. This is now a global problem and, and has been for some time now. Um, but who should be the most concerned or at risk of getting it? Of course, it's the unvaccinated, but also the folks who never went back to get their second shot. And of course, the kids who still are not eligible to receive the vaccine just yet. So as we are now in this time where the restrictions are lifted, the Oregon Health Authority is just reminding people that the, va the vaccine is still the best and most effective tool to prevent the spread of disease within our communities and within our households. Emily and Ken. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Elise. Well, after months of helping the effort to vaccinate